Hey everybody, this is Collected Dude. I'm going to go through um, the November uh, issue of, um, November 2018 issue of previews. Uh, these books should be coming out in January, so I'm going to go through Dark Horse. I went through the other sections of uh, DC and Marvel on their uh, independent books or separate books from this book. And I went through Image. Now I'm going to go through Dark Horse, see what they got. Let me know what you guys are going to be reading from Dark Horse now. This is Fight Club number 3 coming out. Very first page. So we'll go through and flip through and see what we got here. Okay, Chuck Palanwick is the, going to be a writer. Cameron Stewart's going to be doing the artwork. Fight Club 3. I grabbed the first few issues of these. I didn't really get into them. I think I gave them to a friend. He gave me a bunch of comic books, and I gave him a bunch of comic books. So this is one of them uh, from the first issues and everything. They may be worth something, I'm not sure, but I really didn't get into them, so I gave them away to him because like I said he gave me books that I really liked getting in um, I went through them and he got some books that he liked so it just it just depends on what you like what do you think about this book you're gonna be getting it the movie wasn't bad everything now here we go with this the nice covers David Mack I see Kirby Fagan there's another one here that's different Duncan Fregrito wow There's some artwork on the inside. It's not bad, it's different. Nice clean style, a lot of detail. Okay, this was a good movie, Avatar. So you got Sherry Smith writing, Jan Dorsema pencils. Anchor and everybody else on it, the colorist. January 16, 32 pages, 399. Variant cover. Here's some artwork on the inside here. Not bad. Oh no, we got aliens. My girlfriend loves this. She loves aliens. She doesn't really want a statue in the house and everything like that, or a big life size for sure not. Even a little one and everything like that. She said they'd freak her out, but she loves watching the movies. She doesn't want to like wake up at nighttime and walk downstairs or something like that or and see it. <laughs> That's funny. I wouldn't like it either. I don't know. You just when you if you would actually see one of these things, you would be crapping yourself, peeing yourself, everything. Just terrifying. But in the movies and everything, you just you get scared enough when you watch them in the movies. And actually see one in real life and f hear it breathe in or something. Oh my goodness. But it, it was a, a, an awesome villain, an awesome uh, monster that um, was created. So that's coming out in January. 32 pages, 399. Here's some artwork in here. I have the video game Alien Isolation. I haven't played it yet, but I've seen it played. I like to just see what it would like this. Every time you see the alien, just run out and let it kill you. <laughs> just run out in front of it. Don't even try to hide from it. Don't even try to do the mission. Just every time you see it, run and try to attack it. Jump on it and see what it does. <laughs> I like the ones where you, you're, the people are running from it and you hear it coming at you, boom, 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 and then it stabs them through the back or something like that and they see the tail come through their stomach or something like that and then they see the they fall back and they see the hand grab them in the face. Very awesome game. You gotta, if you haven't picked it up or seen it, you, you got to check it out. Look, Check on YouTube and see some people playing the games. People are screaming as they're playing it. It's funny, but it, it's just scary. It's like a, you know, you can, it, it's fun to be able to laugh kind of at it too, but oh my gosh, if, we, if you were really there, woo. -hoo. Okay, here we go with this, uh, The Terminator. Okay, Alien 3. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong one. Here, we got Wood, William Gibson's Alien 3 here. Nice cover. We got a variant down there. Then we got uh, the Terminator Sector War. That's a trade. Ryan Wood, a great writer. We got Jeff Lemire, another great writer. Black Hammer Director's Cut. I like I like those when I see the artwork and see the story and see how they break it down. I may pick that one up. I usually pick all of those um, director's cuts up because I like to see how they, the process that they go by. 
it's all in black and white and everything. Quantum Age, the Quantum Age. Number six ties directly with Black Hammer, it says. Here's another a variant cover there. Variant cover by Jeff Lemire. Yeah. Cool. Now we go Tom Clancy's The Division. Does anybody have this video game? What do you think of it? I've seen it played a little bit. It wasn't bad. This is on just sale in January. 32 pages, $3.99. You like the comic book? You like the video game? Gears of War is awesome too. This is a uh, the world of Tom Clancy's Division hardcover. This is cool. 192 pages of art. Well, let's see that was. Let's see, it's coming out in Jan March. 192 pages for 39.99. Nine by twelve. That'll be nice. I like art books like that. I do them on my channel a lot. Umbrella Umbrella Academy. Gerard Ray has been writing a long time for this. Nice cover. An alternate cover by Gabriel Ba. He's been right drawn for a lot for this too. Mystery Science Theater. I loved this show when it was when I was years ago when I used to watch it. It's the comical stuff they would say. The robots and everything, and the guy um, laughing at the movies and stuff that they'd watch. Let's see what that's going to do. Beast of Burden, Wise Dogs, and Eldrick Men. Hardcover. Anybody get that? I've seen a bunch of these at um, Half Price Books. I didn't pick them up, though. I wasn't sure if it would be any good. Maybe I'll go back and get them if they're still there. Just to try it out. Like I usually try to, try to get first issues of stuff sometimes. But if I can get it cheaper at Half Price Books, I'll do that. Just to try it out. The Mask, Omnibus. 376 pages for $24.99 in March. I remember seeing the movie. It wasn't bad. It's just typical Jim Carrey. And I think he caught the character, captured the character really good. Let me know if what you think, too. House of Penance. Penance, Library Edition. 176 pages coming out in March. That's cool artwork. Just nice colors and everything. Just a little frightening, disturbing a little bit. I wonder what that is. Creepy. Yep. And Hellboy. I don't know do not know how Mike Magnola keeps doing this. Chris Robertson. Just so many ideas. He's just bang, 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 putting them out. Awesome. I met him once. He's a nice guy. Everything. I didn't get a picture drawn. I, he asked me if I wanted one, and for some reason I told him, no, I, it was getting late and we had to go, and I didn't want a picture drawn. I wanted him to draw a picture with his style on my characters that I created, but for some reason I said, no, I don't want a picture of his, and I regret that I was stupid, but hopefully I'll get to meet him again, but I'm not sure if he'll be doing that anymore. Anyway, let me know if you guys got a drawing of uh, Hellboy, any of, it, any of his characters, if you've ever met him and have him draw a picture for you if he's still doing that or if he charges anything this was back in the early 90s yeah, I think it was somewhere in Pittsburgh I went to go see it but Tales from the Magnoliverse cool BPRD the devil you know that's number 12 on the left and you got hardcover on the right here there's a lot of books Joe Golem Number five of five. Nice cover. Coming out in January, 32 pages, $3.99. You got Death Orb, number four. Coming out on the second for $3.99. 32 pages, regular comic book. Okay, Whispering Dark. Troy Nixie. Cool covers. Look like it makes it look like a skull there. And then Trout. See, I'm mixing this up. They got them all next to each other. This Troy Nixie is doing the Trout volume. Bits and Bobs. And then we got The Whispering Dark over here by Chris, Christopher M. Gord. That looks cool. I guess it looks like a skull, like I said there. 
in Harrow County, Volume 2, Library Edition Hardcover. I see a lot of these at half price books. They're marked down. Colin Bunn, a horror writer, a great horror writer. Yeah. Weird 1. January 30th, 32 pages, regular comic book. Antonio Fuso, art and cover. That's something new coming out. Get some varying covers by Jeff Lemire. Or one of them. Another cover, I'm not sure, on the left. I'm not sure who's doing that one, unless he's doing both of those. We got a polar volume, Black Kaiser. Now a major motion picture. Okay, that'd be cool. Part one is now a major motion picture. That's number four there, volume four. Victor Santos. Let me pause that right there real quick. Okay, here we go. Your Sword Daughter by Brian Wood. I got the first issue of that, but I didn't get any more. Let me know what you think of this. It looks pretty good. It look, I like the covers for it, so I picked it up for that. I've yet to read it, though. Light Step. Number three of five. Sword Daughter's number five there. So they're artists and writers. All this stuff, all this stuff's coming out in January. There's a lot of books. Yahtzee Croshaw. Different Morpheus. Hardcover. Or Morpheus. Then we got Creepy over here. Archives. 28. Come out in March here. It is these comics that set the precedence for horror comics now. Hell, for horror in general. Fangoria. And March 20th for that one. Okay, LaGuardia. Number two. And Nettie Okorafor. And she could fly. I saw this at uh, Half Price Books number one. I didn't pick it up. I put it back because I had a other, other stack of books. I had number one there. I'm not sure if it's going for money, but I, I wanted to read it because I like when they do sh um, books that seems like what like ordinary people get powers or something like that. Like I remember the movie The Boy Who Could Fly. That was a good back years ago too. But I'm going to have to go back and see if I can find it. That's one of my Half Price books that I go by. And How to Train Your Dragon. I love these movies. Hidden World, it's the art. These are cool books too to get. I like doing stuff like this on my channel, flipping through books like that and reading them and talking about them and stuff. That'll be one I can look at too. Disney Don Quixote, starring Goofy and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Coming out in March, 10 99 96 pages. Cool artwork. Zootopia, didn't see that movie. It looks fun though. Younger reader stuff coming out in March, 48 pages for $7.99. And you got The Legend of Korra, Turf Wars, Library Edition, hardcover. Coming out in March for 240 pages, $39.99. And let's see, what's this one here? Jurassic Park. Coloring book? Is that what that is? Yep. They're doing a lot of that. I wonder how well those are selling. Yeah, I guess they wouldn't keep making them if they didn't sell. $14.99, 96 pages. That's cool. And Dragon Age. I got the video game. That's pretty cool. I played a little bit of it. I got so many other games I need to play as well. That's cool. Dragon Age Deception. And Moles are coming out in March. A week apart. March 6th and March 9th. And here, Halo. Love this video game when I played this years ago. This is coming out in January, three ninety nine for thirty two pages of miniseries. So Lone Wolf, one of four there. What's this one? Starcraft. Jody Hauser. Number one, another number one here. Soldiers, one of four. Andrew Robinson doing the artwork. Okay, thirty two pages, three ninety nine. Coming out in January. Dauntless. 
Dart of Dauntless. I'm not sure about this. Is this some movie Dark Horse books and Phoenix Labs? Okay. 160 pages, $39.99. That's cool. God of War, very awesome video game. Three of four. And The Witcher, another awesome video game. Flesh and Flame, number two. And that God of War is three of four. Okay. What do we got here? Mob Cycle 100, Volume 2 Trade. March 6th, 200 pages, black and white, 1199. That's different. Look like an Earth circle. Or an alien spaceship landing or something. Then we got Blade here. Omnibus. Volume 8 trade. 672 pages. Wow, for $21.99. That's cool. Jim Mint Collectibles on YouTube. He's really good at getting the omnibuses. And you know, Omnibuy omnibuses. He has a lot of them. Awesome. Awesome videos. You gotta check him out. Jim Mint. G-E-M. Mint Collectibles. He's really good. Umbrella Academy. Little merchandise and stuff. More Merc. Okay, and then we got some relists here for, for them, different stuff that they got. Alien on the bus. Other stuff they got going Avatar and Black Hammer. Conan. You know he's going to be coming back out and everything. Fight Club 2 there. Zelda. Zelda's a great game too. Grendel. Nexus. I like this one. Trigon. I saw the videos. I'm not sure if they're still on YouTube. I mean, not YouTube, but uh, Netflix or not. But I liked them when I, when I first saw them. I'm in a One Punch Man right now. Very good. And I like when they do the translations on uh, YouTube. Okay, I'm going to stop right here. This is um, going to start with the DC thing. So uh, I'll flip through this real quick because I already went through DC already. This is just different things they got still in the book here. I guess if you didn't pick up the other book. These are some statues here. Dioramas. Batwoman, love her. Hope they come out with a movie with her, which should be good. That'll be cool. The Joker, Heath Ledger. All these are cool. The Vinnie Mates. Okay, that's it on this one. Then we're going to be going into IDW. That'll be the next video. But thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you're going to be getting from Dark Horse, if anything. And let me know what you are reading from Dark Horse. Um, thank you very much for watching, and Collector Dude is out.